have we heard the government put in place? Nothing to smile about. And that is our bread and butter. That's our bread and butter. And then last week, we see them going into the parliament. Look, whether you like Alan Stanford or not, that's your business. But there is a distinct principle. If you take away people land without due process, what message are you sending to foreign investments? And this country must survive with foreign investment, whether we like it or not. And we're saying to you, we want to reassure the investors coming to Antigua on the 13th because Labour Party will never acquire your land without due process. We say to you tonight, my dear comrades, they, will, they spend so much money for equipment to get and everything to their friends and cronies. Do we have decent roads in Antigua and Barbuda? They're mashing up all over. When I was coming to Parham tonight, I have to be zigzagging. When I drove into Parham, there is nothing for the people of Antigua and Barbuda to smile about. And let me tell you, you heard the chairman said, the chairman of our party, and we won't go into details tonight. But you have had a rough five years, you know. Thank God you have survived that you could be standing here tonight. And we are saying one of the major bills you have to pay every month is that thing they call electricity. And we are saying to you, we are going to rescue you. Them heavy bills that they put on, when fuel should be charging, you know if they were giving you the right price of fuel tonight, fuel will be just about $5 a gallon. It will be just about $5 a gallon. But they're using that consumption tax from fuel to help to support them on their willy-nilly spending. I went into my constituency on Saturday night and when I saw a young woman with three children and no electricity in her house, how can they be educated? How can they survive? And I had to go and make arrangements that she gets some help. That is what labor politicians are all about. And do not let them fool you. They come and tell you about leadership. Let's look at leadership. Every one of your labor ministers in the last government, they have something to shout about. We left a landmark there. The government left a landmark there. Because we made sure we built it. The only, I would admit to you, the only thing we did, we did not do because we respected you. We never raised your taxes. The UPP have hearts like a pack of cards. They knock you income tax, ABSD car tax, environmental tax when you go down with about 10, 12 taxes and my god that's the fact that they put under you until they tell us you can walk from McNeese to a road as we go taxes can you imagine that a country you the people of the country you are the bosses and they say don't care what scream you scream what noise you make you get the tax in your bottom, take off and go with the business. That's what I told you. When you compare Baldwin Spencer with Lester Bird, I want to suggest to all of you, that is chalk and cheese. You, Lester Bird name is a good name you can take to the bank. Baldwin you can't take it. Not even to the undertaker. Not accept it. What has he done as Prime Minister in the country? 
And I already say tonight, look what is happening. Ever God has a TV station mark focus for He won. He won. Ever God print a manifesto for He won. Is that unity? Is that cohesion? Whatever God is showing is that Baldwin, I do not respect you. You are not fit to run. And we are saying, we are standing behind our leader. We want to make sure that you support him. We will be releasing our manifesto. And we will be going to details, to details about it. Tonight, I hear the music coming, it's late. I want to tell you, stand firm with labor. Stand firm with Asset Michael. I'm accustomed to you in Paramount Pierce Village. And I'm quite certain I can tell those who are visiting tonight and to assure his mother and his family, come election day, Asset all the way. And so comrades, Stand firm with labor. We are on a redemptive mission. We are going to redeem this country. We are going to find work for you. We are going to give you housing. We are going to give you education. We are going to give you medicine. And we are going to give you good government. Stay with labor forever. Good night. Thank you, Patrick. Well, comrades, you look like you're ready for action. You look like you're ready for action. Oh, yes. Uh, action. Did I say action? Guess what? We have a toxic bond standing by. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, comrades. Yes, brothers and sisters. The toxic band is standing by. And I know I can tell from the way how you look, the way how you're waving. I can just feel your craving. You're ready for action. You're ready for the action, man. And we're ready to bring him for you. But just before we do that, we want to invite the lady with the toughest job in this general election. The lady who has to be thrown, the man that holds the keys to the city of the Royal West. We're going to call her up on the podium and give her two minutes. She wants to talk to you. Give her two minutes and then we'll give you all the action you want tonight. Do you hear me, my comrades? And look, just before I call she, look behind all you. Just look back to what you can on there. You see the Honorable Robin here with now you what you can hold him a zigzag, watch it. Millions of dollars. Oh, Cuban road fixes because you know how you do it, oh, you can't fix road. So we have to bring some people from Cuba to fix the road for us here because you know the auntie that people can't work. Watch the can of one of the zigzag, everybody. Watch them come and I'll lie you tell. Why? Because the roads. Roads? Then they're pop. Please make some noise right now and welcome our gal. Give her all the support she needs. You know she's gonna need it. Yes. Don't let her fail. Don't fail. Fall for our gal again. Turn to the mindset. Hope I'm with my love so much. See, I'm driving in the air to this 